Hello and happy Friday. So I am here to share a video flip through of my newest art journal. I love it. I went a little bit different with this one with regards to the cover in that it butterflies open as opposed to just the usual flip open. Um, but I love this journal. I'm super excited to share it with you. And um, it's now listed in my website. So if you are interested and want to check it out, just go to the paintedwitchstudio.com and you will see it there. So let's dive in. So as I said, the journal cover is a little different than what I normally do. It's a butterfly open. I, I think that's what you call it. It butterflies open. Um, but the front and back uh, are all painted like that. I've got my handmade fabric beads. Now, this one is a little different than my usual fabric beads in that instead of um, a straw as a base, I used a paper clip. So this one is made from a paper clip with yarns and fabrics and beads and everything all wrapped around it. And it's got a little tiny cute bell at the end. And I do have a video tutorial in my YouTube channel if you are interested in seeing how I went about making my fabric beads. Now, the spine has been, I put a uh, fabric on here and sewed it on through the machine. There's a button closure. I actually shared a video, which is also up on my YouTube channel, um, of my whole blooper episode of <laughs> trying to attach this thing. I don't know why I was having such an issue putting this thing on. It's not like I've ever done it before. But for some reason that day, I was just, my mind was not thinking and I could not for the life of me grasp what I was doing. But in any case, I've got it and here it is. So the closure is uh, a ribbon that I've just added a little bit of paint on it, some black and, and white, that kind of thing. And I love it. And it just simply wraps around the button and then around the journal itself. So some of the ribbon is glued onto a cover. So what that means is that you only have to wrap the yarn just once and then you can start winding it around the button. The button, I've intentionally beveled it out a bit. It doesn't mean it's loose, it is not loose. I've just intentionally um, jimmied it so it was um, beveled a bit and this is to allow you to wrap the yarn or fabric scrap um, a few times around okay so that you don't have to worry about only doing it once so you can just go like this and you can wrap it around three times if you want because there is room for it okay so I've also got the, um, so both spines, this has two spines, so both spines are actually um, covered with fabric, and then when you open it up, it's got grommets on either side um, that holds the ribbon, or the, I keep saying ribbon, but it's, it's fabric. Um, I've got a little tag here with some fabric, and it's just little scraps of paper here that you can write notes on. Um, I've added this as a little embellishment, so it's a fabric scrap with some cross stitching and some beads on there as well, if you can see that. Okay, so let's dive in. Now these are the butterfly um, butterflies I was sharing yesterday on my social media, so that would be on Instagram and Facebook, and I think even on TikTok. Uh, so it's one of the butterflies I put in here. So that's on here, just on the inside cover. And as with all my art journals, it contains a variety of different sizes of papers and different mediums of papers. Some are um, from old books, like very old books that I've picked up at antique stores. Um, other pages are from uh, just, you know, thrift store kind of books. So they're newer, but, you know, past their prime kind of thing. Um, this is some drywall tape here that I've attached some tracing paper to. 
book page, some more tracing paper that I traced on some flowers. And then you can just, if you want to leave it like that, or you can use some acrylics and color that in a little bit. I did do a little, I couldn't resist. I added a little bit of green and stuff. Some music papers. This is some colored paper. Some little book scraps. This folds down like that. This is old ledger paper from a ledger book I picked up at an antique um, antique market. And of course the music sheet. Some more dyed paper. There's a couple of little scraps. I just used a little tiny mini. I love these little paper clips. They're so cute. They're little mini ones. Um, but it's holding these two. And then this butter, um, not butterflies. See, I want to say the word now all the time. Um, this opens up like this. Okay. You turn the page. You've got this. Some more of that ledger. And then some more tracing paper. Again, it's not attached. It's just um, being held in with a paper clip. So you can use this as collage. And it's attached right now. Or not attached. It's paper clipped to uh, ledger paper. This is just some collage I had. One of these little guys here. This opens up. This is from a really, really, really old book, this piece right here. So the page is actually quite delicate. Um, so just be mindful of that. And this actually is a pocket here. So you can tuck little notes or things in it that you want. Some more of that beautiful dyed paper. Coffee stained. Some more dyed paper. Some mark making on some origami paper. Music sheet. Some more of the tracing paper. Book pages. And right at the back here is an envelope that says, do what you love. And inside I have attached, um, not attached, tucked inside some collage scraps for you. And this just flaps open like that. I've left the back inside cover like this so you can do what you want with it if you want to continue and, and do your own thing or um, you can leave it as is. It's up to you. And there you go. So as I said, this is now available in my website at the paintedwitchstudio.com. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic weekend. Um, we have March break here now coming up next week. So um, my daughter's super excited about that. We've got family coming to visit us for the week next week as well. So again, she's super excited. I'm super excited too. I'm super excited about that. So other than that, have a fantastic weekend. And like I said, happy Friday. Take care.